Hi everybody, my name is Shannon Dale Stott. I love improv. I've been teaching, watching, performing improv for over 15 years and I am making these videos specifically for you because I love improv and I want you to love it too. So I want you to have a resource or a person to go to, a place to go to, to talk about what you're experiencing on and off the stage. And if I can help you in any way, I will. And that's what this particular video is about. Um, I had somebody to make a comment the other day, Danielle commented, and she had this question for me. So here we go. We said, Danielle said, I find myself struggling with character diversity lately, especially in auditions. For me personally, I tend to look either like Bubbles from Powerpuff Girls, effervescent as ever, or him from Powerpuff Girls, evil incarnate. What can I do to become a more well-rounded improviser? Would love to hear your thoughts. First of all, thank you so much for trusting me with this, uh, with this question. First, let's talk a little bit about, I find myself struggling with character diversity lately, especially in auditions. Character diversity in auditions. So I get the sense that if you are going into an audition and your energy is from Powerpuff Girls, you are going into an audition uh, with your energy high. My suggestion actually is to go into an audition and after your routine, whatever that routine is, everybody has one, right? Uh, I need to go to the bathroom, I need to drink some water or my coffee, I need to say hi to all the other people who are auditioning, whatever your routine is, I suggest that you also put into your routine something that brings your energy to neutral. Now, that doesn't mean your energy needs to become low. It just needs to become you. If you, in general, have a lower energy, then coming up in energy can be exhausting for you. If you are in your neutral, in your natural state of high energy, then going even higher can be also very exhausting for you. My suggestion is that during an audition, you find a way to bring your energy, whatever it is, back to absolute neutral. When you are at neutral, when you are your most you, when you go onto a stage, you will find that more opportunity for you to choose your energy level will be unveiled to you. Because you aren't uh, already spinning, already up in energy, you will find that you can make choices in the moment that have more to do with what the moment actually needs during your, your audition. So how do you do that? How do you find your neutral? That is a different question as well. Some tips are breathing, inhale, exhale, uh, walk around, try to remember what it feels like to walk as a neutral, natural person. Think about when you go to the grocery store or when you go to your favorite, any store, any store, when you're walking around and you are in your favorite environment and you are at your most calm and your most you, what does it feel like? And recollect that, remind yourself of what that feeling is, what your face looks like, where your shoulders are, where your heart rate sits when you are in those lovely places that mean a lot to you and you are at your most you, remind yourself what that feels like. Try to get into that mode and remain in that mode all the way through your audition. You'll find that when you are on stage, you have more opportunity to choose characters of any spectrum. What do I mean by spectrum? I'm glad you asked because that is the spot where I want to talk about the Powerpuff Girls. So you were saying that you tend to lean on uh, 
the Powerpuff Girls, right? You tend to lean on Bubbles or him. These characters look like they are different, but they are on the same energy spectrum. The Powerpuff Girls is a high energy, exciting cartoon, right? They are fast, they are fun, their voices are like this, right? <laughs> Everyone's voice pretty much sounds like this is on this register. Even the villains, right, have a way of speaking that is energized and exciting. That is the spectrum that Powerpuff Girls is on. But if your neutral is already excited and you are elevating to Powerpuff Girls, boy, is it going to be hard to think on stage. It's going to be hard to take in information and it's going to be hard to even put out information. Hard to listen to your players and hard to give your players what you want. But if you can come to neutral, then you can make the choice to be in the spectrum of Powerpuff Girls. But you can also make the choice to be in the spectrum of Lord of the Rings, right? You can make those choices if you start from neutral. But if you start from an already heightened place, if you come to an audition already heightened, it's going to be hard to make those choices when you are in front of a, in front of a director for a show. When you are in a state that is not your neutral, it is more difficult to find character diversity because it is more difficult to see the things, the options that are open to you. When you come to neutral and you see that more options are available to you, you will be able to also make a choice between Powerpuff Spectrum and Winnie the Pooh spectrum versus Lord of the Rings spectrum. You'll be able to manage your energy on stage and off. Have a great improv experience. If this is helpful in any way, subscribe to this channel, uh, like it, and also go to my Patreon page. Patreon is helping me so much. My members on Patreon are helping me make these videos and get them out to you. I hope that you and I get to play together on and off the stage. Bye, Danielle.